Hey guys, my name is Tom. In this video, I will show you how to solve a vector equation. So we will find a missing vector, and the key here is you can work with vectors or move them around when you solve equations the way you move regular numbers around or regular variables as like x, y, and z. The concept is the same. So let's take a look at the equation to be solved. It has the following form. A plus 2B equals 2 times a plus b. Okay, so this is a vector equation <clears throat> and we are defining a, the vector a, to be given by 6i minus 2k. So these are three-dimensional vectors. The j component of vector a has not been written at zero. But this is the setup. Another question is, we have to find B. B is missing, as you can see. We don't know it. So, from the first equation, isolate B. Okay, isolate B. And work with the terms the way you would work with regular terms and regular algebra. So you have A plus 2B. Distribute the 2. So you have 2A plus 2B. Once you've done that, Immediately you can make an observation. Observation is this. A minus 2A equals 2B minus 2B. And guess what this means? On the right side, you have 0, the 0 vector. And on the left side, you have the vector negative A. And these are never equal, which means that our equation has no solution. Okay? This particular configuration has no solution. In other words, there is no vector b such that a plus 2b equals this. It's not happening. Okay, so now let's switch colors for the sake of variety. And let's take a look at one that might have a solution. Okay, so let me make one up here. I will write again a plus 3b equals 2 times a plus b. Once again, a vector equation, but you manipulate the symbols the way you manipulate algebraic symbols. So you'll have a, 2a, and then move to the left side, so it's a minus 2a, equals 2b on the right, and then take the 3b and move it to the right side, so it's minus 3b. Then you get it, you know, you have a negative, a minus 2a is negative a, 2b minus 3b is negative b, and now divide out the negative ones, and so a equals b, which means the following is true. If you want the equation a plus 3b to be equal to the equation 2 times a plus b, the vector b has to be equal to the vector a. So if you take the a as we defined it previously, meaning a is, we just made that up, it's not a, anything special, 6i minus 2k, then we can check. So let's take the next step of checking that this is the correct vector that we have found. In other words, a and b have to be equal. So let's take a look. I will write 6i minus 2k. And to it I am adding 3 of b, but b is the same as a. So 6i minus 2k. Let's see what comes out on the left side of the equation. We will have, we have to use the distributive property on the 3, so you have 6i minus 2k plus 18i and then minus 6k. So simplify this line. You have 6i and 18i is 24i and the negative 2k minus 6k is negative 8k. So the left side simplified is 24i minus 8k. And now we have to show that 2 times a plus b 
gives the same vector once we simplify it. That's what we have to check. Okay? So we have the following. 2, a is defined to be 6i minus 2k. And to it we will add b, but b is the same thing. So it's plus 6i minus 2k combined within the parentheses first. So 6i and 6i is 12i. And then negative 2k minus 2k, of course, is negative 4k. And guess what? 2 times 12i is, is 24i. 2 times negative 4k is negative 8. Okay. So we've solved the vector equation. And in this case, the vector b has to be equal to the vector a. And in the purple case here, the first one, uh, there was no solution because we found that negative a, which is the negative of 6i minus 2k, that can never be equal to 0. So this first one had no solution. This one does have the solution a equals b. There you go. And the key to solving vector equations, notice that the entire time I manipulated the a's and the b's the way I manipulated x, y, and z's in regular algebra. That's it. So, thank you for watching. Because remember, ultimately, under the surface, a vector is just a what? Right? A vector has components such as 1, 2, and 3, and these are just regular numbers. That's it. So, thank you for watching.